show about the Groton Dunstable Regional School District. My name is Luke Callahan. I'm the Director of Technology, Media Relations and Information. And I am Dr. Rodriguez, Superintendent of Schools. This program will share with you the many wonderful things happening in our schools. This year, we will focus on global studies. This particular show is going to highlight the high school and look at how we integrate global concepts into our travel options and our curriculum. We recently caught up with Jeannie Erickson before her trip to Peru. As you'll hear, our trips have many focus areas. Some are cultural immersion focused, while others are service learning trips and leadership trips. So we're going to Peru, 32 students, myself and three other chaperones, we're going to Peru and that we are leaving next Thursday, which is the 12th of February, and we are going to do a service learning experience. So last year, we formed a Global Scholars Committee and the, with the purpose of providing students with an opportunity to visit places outside our country with certain focuses. And this Peru trip happens to be a service learning trip. We are going to go and help um, do some repair work and improvements at a, a school that is for four to six year olds in Peru and we're really looking forward to that. We're also going to take some commodities that we purchased with money that we made in a yard sale earlier and I think the real takeaway for this is that students are really going to see that what they have here living in this community is amazing. So in March we have also a trip going that is a leadership summit and they're going to Costa Rica. I think it's about 12 students that are going. And the guest speaker at that summer, summit is Jane Goodall, which is going to be very exciting. During yeah. April vacation, we have a large group, I think probably 32 or more, going to Spain. And that's a cultural immersion where they will be spending time learning things during the day and then going out and experiencing the culture for the rest of the time. So there are many other trips planned for next year as well. Uh, this will be my second time visiting a foreign country. I, when I was like 13 or 14, I went to Mexico. I'm looking forward to learning about their culture and helping out with the school. Have a good time uh, working with classmates and uh, just exploring a new country. As was just described and introduced by Ms. Erickson, over February break, 32 Groton Dunstable High School students and four chaperones traveled to Peru and learned about the Peruvian culture, cuisine, agriculture, and the history of the people. Just some of the highlights were visits to sacred sites of the Inca people, a tour of the Sacred Valley, and a guided tour of an archaeological site in Cusco. Students visited local markets and attended a clay workshop where they were able to create and bring a piece home as a souvenir. The visit to Machu Picchu exceeded even lofty expectations. Overall, our students mingled with the Peruvian people and totally immerse themselves into all that Peru has to offer. The trip culminated in two service days at an elementary school in desperate need of help. Students worked hard performing tasks ranging from gardening and landscaping, demolition, painting, building walls, and assembling a kitchen. The highlight of this trip was watching our Groton Dunstable students work together to serve the needs of the less fortunate. This trip to Peru will have a great impact on our students' lives that is truly immeasurable, and it might just change the course of their life for the better. Next, we want to introduce you to Mr. Villa Gomez, who teaches courses such as International Business and Economics at the high school. From him, we learn about how GD teachers integrate global studies into their curriculum along with local community members. I've been teaching now for uh, 17 years. I started teaching in Florida 
and then for 10 years I taught in, in an island called Saipan where I grew up. It's west of Hawaii and north of Guam. And then I'm uh, moving to New England. I, I've been teaching now uh, here for two years. And, uh, and I love I love Jeannie, just an awesome, awesome place. And so as part of my um, teaching, I include a lot of um, references and resources that I, I, I bring with me. Not only have I, a, have I had a, a really a global uh, experience in, in education, but also my, my points of contact. For example, I'm able to contact different um, people um, internationally, for my former students in Japan, in Korea, in the Philippines, in Australia, Thailand, to, to bring them to class via um, Facebook and Face FaceTime. But also, uh, Groton and Dunstable have an amazing um, amount and uh, am amazing um, capital of, of human talents. Uh, people like um, Mr. Kurt Johnson, um, you know, uh, different people that I've invited to, to the class makes the class even more relevant. Uh, from a macroeconomic point of view, and that's the emphasis of international business, you really deal with a lot of things other than, you know, deficits and interest rates and so on. It's really about people being a part of this um, web, this, this tight-knit uh, society that we're called, you know, the global village. Our goal in international business is to help students um, understand the, the world um, business culture. And so there's a theoretical part and a practical part. The theoretical would be you know, understanding you know, uh, interest rates and trade balance and employment, unemployment, and so on. But the practical aspect is they actually are able to explore different careers within, within the, the world of business from entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurship to uh, you know, accounting and so on. And that's, I think that's the strength of, of the program. Our, our next goal is for us to have an AP um, economics class. And so this is a foundation uh, for, for that. And you know, it, it's so fascinating a field. It's just, there's so much resources and re literally human, human capital uh, that, that we've been able to uh, incorporate into this class that it's, uh, you know, it's here. We hope you enjoyed a very small snippet of the many wonderful things occurring in our district around global scholarship. That's it for Back to School. I'm Mr. Callahan. And I'm Dr. Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us.